Hello, Democrats! Are we excited? Are we excited? <laughs> I am so excited, so happy to be here with all of you. You know, last night was incredible. And I don't know about you, but I went between uh, getting up on my feet and sta giving standing ovations to getting a little weepy and sentimental. Um, but that's why we're here. We're here to make sure that we are rejuvenated, reinvigorated, re-inspired as we begin the battle and our march toward November. And I want to remind all of you of what's at stake. And I know we all know what's at stake, but I come from the state of Texas, which is basically the front lines of Project 2022, Trump's Project 2022. And I can tell you, it is a state where Republicans are eager to take more of our rights away. They have already taken away women's reproductive rights. We are already a state that's almost number one, if not number two, in uninsured Americans, a state where we're number one in infant mortality rates, a state where women are second-class citizens. This is the GOP and the MAGA vision, their dark vision for women in America. So it's not just that we're going to the ballot box to make sure they do not enact this terrible uh, blueprint on all of America, but we're going to the ballot box because we also have something to vote for. You know, during the, the Biden-Harris administration last Congress, when House Democrats were in the majority, and when Republicans were talking about their pro-life agenda, and there's nothing pro-life about Republicans, they voted against the CARE economy in our Build Back Better Act. They voted against the expanded child tax credit. They voted against universal pre-K. They voted against paid family and medical leave. They voted against affordable, high-quality child care. Democrats were pushing that agenda. You tell me which party is pro-family and which party is not pro-family. Democrats will fight for your family and for your freedoms every step of the way. And we know with Kamala Harris and Tim Waltz in the White House, we will get all of the protections, all of the support that we deserve. We've got to make sure that we have their back because we know that they have ours. So friends, from starting the day we get back home after this amazing convention, we got to knock on doors, we got to make our phone calls, we got to write our checks when we can, and we got to talk to every voter possible because we can win this, you all. We can win this. And when we do, we won't just restore freedoms, but we will restore hope in America. Madam Chair, thank you. Thanks to all you great women for everything that you do.